In the Psalms of Asaph so far, we have come across references to the defeat of the southern kingdom of Judah, the destruction of Jerusalem, and the defilement of the temple by the Babylonians. At that time, God's people were taken into exile. Our psalm today looks a number of years further back to the devastation and defeat wrought by the Assyrians upon the northern kingdom of Israel. The references are to Ephraim, Benjamin and Manasseh, all northern tribes, and there is no mention of Judah at all. The people know that they have not honoured the covenant, and they see in the destruction around them a sign of God's anger. They are desperate for God to shine his face upon them once more, that they may be saved. They recall their past, how God had led them out of Egypt to the land that he himself had prepared, where he planted them like a vine spreading from the Mediterranean to the river Euphrates. These were heady days, and the people should have remembered God's blessings. But they didn't tend the gifts of God. So the walls of the vineyard were broken down, wild animals roamed and insects attacked the fruit, and now the vine is cut down and burned with fire. But all is not lost. The root shall grow, and a branch shall be raised up. The vine shall be revived, and shall bear fruit once more. Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Psalm 80 is for the director of music to the tune of the Lilies of the Covenant of Asaph, a psalm. Hear us, shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock. You sit enthroned between the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin and Manasseh. Awaken your might, come and save us. Restore us, O God, make your face shine on us that we may be saved. How long, Lord God Almighty, will your anger smoulder against the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have made them drink tears by the bowlful. You have made us an object of derision to our neighbours, and our enemies mock us. Restore us, God Almighty, make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. You transplanted a vine from Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground for it, and it took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shade, the mighty cedars with its branches. Its branches reached as far as the sea, it shoots as far as the river. Why have you broken down its walls so that all who pass by pick its grapes? Boars from the forest ravage it, and insects from the field feed on it. Return to us, God Almighty. Look down from heaven and see. Watch over this vine, the root your right hand has planted, the sun you have raised up for yourself. Your vine is cut down, it is burned with fire. At your rebuke your people perish. Let your hand rest on the man at your right hand, the son of man you have raised up for yourself. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us, and we will call on your name. Restore us, Lord God Almighty. Make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. A prayer for today. God Almighty, our shepherd, our gardener, you planted the true vine. 
and from these roots do we find our life and strength. You are the gardener, and Christ Jesus is the vine. By your Spirit help us to remain in him through every challenge and trouble. For we know that no branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine, and we can bear no fruit unless we remain in him. Shine your face upon us, that we may dwell in your kingdom forever. Amen.